So I'm here today in LA. It's July gloom still. Um, and I'm very excited because um, an artist called Chrissy Stryker, who is a brow guru, is coming over to do a tutorial of tutorial with me. And um, we're going to be using the new Hourglass products to recreate a kind of really full bushy brow look. So this is the Arch Brow Collection right. from Hourglass, which I think you're aware of. Yeah, I'm familiar with uh, with all of the products, actually. The Arch Sculpting Pencil is really kind of the base of right. the brow, kind of the foundation. I like to think of it as like, this is kind of going to give me a little bit of depth and shadow. And then you can use the micro sculpting to literally create the little like hair, hair strokes because it's super fine. It's going to give me like real definition into yes. my little gaps that I might have. You can then follow with the uh, microfiber texturizing gel, yeah. which actually creates hair like, yeah. almost like volume. Yeah, I notice when I use this, it's almost like a pomade, pomade is yeah. how you say it? And it's mm -hmm. kind of like makes them really full and fluffy. fluffy. I think it's tricky when you're trying to create hair with makeup. Yeah. It's so one dimensional. So yeah. having the different textures of each of the products really creates like almost like a 3D brow. Yeah. So. I think it's important to at least use two out of three, if not all yeah. three, just to create that yeah. look. Amazing. We found this picture, this is obviously your work, and we really, really loved this kind of beautiful brook shields, bushy, full brow, it looks very natural. I want to show you my eyebrow issues okay. first before we crack into okay. it. So this is the good sister, <laughs> this is the bad sister because I love the term eyebrows should be sisters not twins, right? right? right. So, yeah, it almost looks like there's a, a tiny hole right yeah. there, maybe just from anyway, years of over tweezing, it sometimes happens. I'm intrigued um, to see what you can do. Yeah. We can just fill that in and make them look a little more even. So we'll use this sort of as like yeah. the the base, okay. the one to match Great. the good sister. Great. She's like going to Harvard and yeah. this one's like... This one's a dropout. Yeah. Um, so let's start with the micro sculpting pencil. I'm actually using the soft brunette. Mm -hmm. So let's start first with um, the front of mm -hmm. the brow. And do you see how I'm kind of brushing up? Mm -hmm. And it's kind of forcing those hairs up as well because there's a little bit of wax in this pencil mm. that acts as a, a bit of a hold. You can tell already mm -hmm. it made it a little bit thicker, yeah. but we're doing the strokes and orientation with how we want the hairs yeah. to lie. And then on the sort of tail of the brow through the arch, these hairs are sort of growing over and kind of down. And if you'll see, I'm just doing little light kind of hair-like strokes. So continuing here throughout your arch, sort of to the tail, I typically start where the brow needs the product the right, most okay. because that you'll tend to use less product yeah. that way if you just kind of start at the same place yeah. every time. Sometimes you end up with too much yeah. product. And I really like the hair to be the star and not the product. Mm -hmm. So it just, the product is meant to just make what you have look a little bit more defined. I think we should um, top that with the warm blonde, blonde. Okay. gel just to give okay. that dimension which also yeah. will kind of So you use the soft brunette uh, pencil and now you're going to use the warm blonde. blonde. And how for like a girl at home or even a boy at home, how would you, um, what tip would you give them for sort of matching their eyebrow? A general rule of thumb is, is you really want to make sure that the pencil that's going on the skin mm -hmm is the same tone and depth as the natural hair because you are really trying to create that natural yeah. hair. Yeah. Uh, if that is ashy, I sometimes like to follow with a warm-based right. gel just okay. so you get those two dimensions yeah. and then vice versa. Yeah. But if you put two ash-based products together, an ash pencil with an ash tinted gel, yeah. it can look really ashy and right. then it can look too dark or vice versa, right. too warm and then it yeah. looks quite red. Yeah. So does that make sense? Just yeah. kind of like balancing that and then yeah. you get that multi-dimensional, yeah. which that's what hair has. Yeah, exactly. Multi-dimensional. That's true. I love these. This is my favorite product. It, it can sort of be the one and done if you're just yeah. like, don't have a ton of time and yeah. you really want to build your brow and get that fullness yeah. and the color. So one side has longer bristles and mm -hmm. one side has shorter bristles. Mm -hmm. I always start with the longer yeah. side because it's where there's less product. Okay. And you can flip it if you need a little bit more, oh. maybe sometimes like in the front. Yeah. So I'm going to start with the longer ones and 
I kind of like to backstroke here because it picks Ooh. up the hair and deposits the little microfibers onto the hair and the skin. And so it that's what's giving you that volume. And you can see already. Oh, wow. It's picking them up and really fluffing them. It looks like my eyebrows went in a convertible car. <laughs> They're wild. <laughs> wow. So having yeah. that lift and that hold there. That looks there, great. It I've just gave your whole eyes and face a lift, like right? Yeah, it does give your face such a lift. And it's a little bit fuller, but yeah. it's believable. Yeah. It doesn't look... I don't see pencil, I just see hair. And then you can it's also amazing. follow with the clear, which with is a great. It's yeah. got great hold to yeah. it. So again, you know, following with that, sort of brushing them. I sometimes will brush them in like this mm. to really kind of get them going in that direction and it holds them as well. Oh, it's great. I love it. It makes such a difference now looking at the two together. This is like soft longer. and voluminous and it does look really natural even though you've added quite a mm -hmm. lot of um, volume to it. I like having that length and, and again your arch is sort of out here on the mm. outer portion of your brow and the length comes out a little bit so rather than the lift being in the center mm -hmm. of the brow which can kind of look sort of yeah. give you like a surprise look the lift is coming from out here which gives you this really yeah. lifted you know appropriate sort yeah. of face framing brow. Great. Okay so you started I'm just gonna I usually like brush mine mm -hmm. up first just to get um, kind of the shape and where they're at and you started here at the front and I like this um, advice you gave of kind of pulling them taut a little bit starting at the bottom and feathering them up yeah. all the way through and one of the really unique things I noticed about this pencil as well is that it's got an oval tip and I've not seen that before on um, a mm. micro pencil so what does that do like what's the advantage of that as opposed to just a round tip I think it makes it more multifunctional yeah because if you use the pencil on its side you get these really fine strokes yeah but if you say you want to just go in and shade if you have a hole or a sparse area yeah. you can use it and it quickly will sort of fill in I too like to really kind of bring it in here at the mm -hmm. front, I think that when it's got a little bit of depth here at the front, it's really youthful and but often I kind of like sort of just go through the bottom here. And to use, make that straight? Yeah, just yeah. to give this bit a little bit of um, kind of a sharper edge. And certainly if I'm doing the kind of like, um, I always kind of reference like a 1940s like, um, eyebrow uh, for the evening so I want to do something a little bit more defined and long I'll kind of make this edge a little bit sharper here mm -hmm. and then the the brow brush on this side is just going to be your best friend to kind of fluff it up yeah it kind of blends everything yeah. in too okay and then you use the um, that's the warm blonde the warm blonde microfiber volumizing gel so you've been there done it all and got the t-shirt when it comes to eyebrows but tell me you must have like a horror story at some point I know I do personally <laughs> of course yeah I mean I think we all wanted to you know look like Kate Moss yeah you know with the very thin that was the trend that was what looked great so yeah I I, I have naturally pretty dark full mm -hmm. brows and I made them quite thin. You did? Yeah. But they grew back okay? They did. They did. I remember going for um, a facial once. Towards the end of the facial, the lady asked me if she would like, uh, if she, if I would like her to cut yeah. my eyebrows a little bit. You know what kind of state you're in at the end of a facial. You're right. super relaxed. And I thought, why not? They probably need it. This is like years ago. And I'd had it done there before, and they'd done a really nice job just tidying the ends up. So I'm lying there, and she's snipping away, and I can hear the scissors snip, 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 and I'm sort of very relaxed in my own world. And then she leaves the room, and I get up and look in the mirror, and I'm not joking, my eyebrows were, they were a 90s skinny brow. She had cut them in half. Oh, no. And the, like a blunt scissor mark 
So I was absolutely mortified and took me at months and months to grow them back. It takes a long time. So I want to finish off, oh here, I'm going to finish off yes. with the clear because that was the last step. And that will hopefully hold these bushy, wiry brows down for the day. I can feel already just from the, um, the warm blonde. Was it warm blonde? Mm -hmm. blonde. With the warm blonde that this will hold to the eyebrow gel. So I think it's great to have these products because it's really hard to mm -hmm. create hair when hair is three dimensional. So to have the different shades and the different textures and stuff to really help mm -hmm. achieve that, I think is really important. And just learning how to apply them and layer yeah. them. So do you have any advice for our, what, uh, for our viewers at home to kind of take away from you know, all your experience as an eyebrow expert? I mean, I think we all, especially now, want you know, the Cara Delevingne of yeah. brows, the thick, full, mm -hmm. really sort of bold brow, but not everyone can have that. Yeah. So I think it's really embracing what you have yeah. and working with what you have and playing around. Like you said, sometimes at night, maybe you want to make them a little bit more bold, mm -hmm. a little bit darker. Um, and just knowing the products to yeah. use yeah. and how to use them. Yeah. But there's some great products out there that can help achieve that. Yeah. And these are just some of them. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank That's you so great. much. You're very welcome. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's fun. I have to take these girls out for a, <laughs> for a show. Mm -hmm.